that commander is a commission of police reporting to the regional commander who is an assistant inspector general then we have the sub county commanders who are superintendents and the senior superintendents same arrangement with the the units the formations therefore presidential escort unit the commander is an assistant inspector general then you find the office of the deputy president the commander there for his security is a superintendent all former all retired presidents whom we respect very much and we have a responsibility to ensure they are safe and secure all the time all through once a president is retired the commander is a superintendent of police that is what was that has been the arrangement since president moi retired president kibaki that has been the, the arrangement and what we've done again and this is is within the mandate of the inspector general so an officer who was of the rank of an assistant inspector general who was with the, the retired president the just retired president who retired um, last year was of the rank of an assistant inspector general so how do you expect an assistant inspector general to report to another assistant inspector general it's just like i'm the inspector general then there's another inspector general reporting to me will there be order really this are disciplined service therefore i again want to state very clearly there is the presidential escort commander who is an assistant inspector general those are the units whether and uh, protecting the deputy president the retired president must be of 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 lower rank for command and control purposes so, so that is what we've done it is true the officer who was there again i wish to repeat was an assistant inspector general i'm recalled i've recalled that officer to be now given responsibilities command responsibilities commensurate with his rank so whatever has been done is in good faith um and um, uh, 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 inspector general is available if any of our leaders and of our senior leaders has any issue um as I've stated, our ask is to ensure we are fair to every senior citizen, our fellow citizens, whether low or high, letu ni utumishi kwa wote na utumishi kwa waminifu. What about the former first lady? What happened? Former first lady? Yes. yes, she has security. She has security. Not just the former first lady. Even uh, our late, uh, two late presidents, they have security. We secure their premise. Yes, we do that. We respect those offices. We provide security. That's, that's, that's the position. I, I hope I'm clear and um, I've made it uh, under, understood. Let's not speculate. Maybe let's let's uh, uh, let's let's avoid mentioning names, eh? And uh, IG is not used to that, because remember, I'm a very dependent, very dependent player. Uh, mine is to provide security to every Kenyan, however low, however high. Uh, therefore, those leaders you're, you're mentioning, they may have retired, and don't misquote me. Because the other day, some of you said that I called and the called, I had called the poor busy bodies. I did not do that. I've never done that at any time. Don't misquote me. What I'm saying, other than because you raised issues regarding the retired president, even other government officials, you have retired. And even you have heard them say in the media, they are now retired. They have 
They are doing their retirement. Even the cabinet, former cabinet ministers, you have heard them in the media saying they are retired. You've heard them. I've, I've listened. Even at times they have said they enjoy even driving themselves. They don't need to wake very early because they are retired. Do you give that person same security as to this cabinet secretary who is in the office, who must be in the office by 6 a.m., who must work this cabinet secretary or permanent secretary in active duty, who must be in the office by 5.30 a.m., by 6 a.m., who leave office at times 10 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, let, let, again, let me be sincere. Who, I think you think there is a logic. Is there a logic in what I'm saying? I'm retired as a cabinet secretary. I'm retired as an inspector general. Because you need to also to bring up uh, the issue of the res in, uh, retired inspector generals. They are retired. Fine, they are doing their retirement. Do they continue doing the same security, I mean, uh, of equal, equal measure as somebody who is actively engaged in, in duty? As we are talking, my, um, as I'm talking here, my cabinet secretary is in Mandera. Yesterday he was in Mandera. Today he is somewhere in Moyale. In active duty. Now, you are talking about uh, the former cabinet secretary. Is he in Mandera as we are talking now? Is he in uh, Liboy? So do they get the same? So therefore, we do a lot of uh, consideration. We are responsible. We are responsible police service. We will not be like to be dragged into politics, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So this is politics. The issue is you know, it's politics. Who said it is politics? No politics. It is you. The way you asked it is like. Uh, um, but there is no politics in this, and the inspector general will not allow at all to be dragged into politics. Mine is a dependent office to serve my beautiful a country, a country dear to me, a country I love. Do a job I enjoy doing with passion. Please ask. You make a lot of trips to Comandera, what, what, but there's no any improvement. You're being criticized daily. What's wrong? Uh, 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 please. I wish to request you accompany me. I'm going to, 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 to Marakwe the other day, very soon. Let's go, and, uh, let's go there and you see the calm, the calm, the calm which is there. Uh, um, at times issues are blown out of proportion. Remember, I started by telling you the country is safe and secure. But uh, we all live in this world. The drought which has been there for quite a while. The, the short rains we had in December, there are parts of this country where they did not get even a drop of rain. It's dry. Competition for water, pasture. So out of that desperation, you, there's conflict. One or two people are at. And that's why I'm asking our people, please, life is precious. Government is doing everything possible to provide food where there's anger and water where water is required. But please, to Eshimiane, to Siumizane. Uh, just a humble request. In a nutshell, in Kiswahili, kusiana na ulinzi wa Raisi Mustafu, na pia mafisamini wa angaza juu serikali na mbao pia wa Mustafu. Ni kweli kwamba makutu wa mepunguzwa, ama maundolewa, ama nini hasa tupatia picha harisi? Asante ndugu. Um, kile ningependa kusema ni ya kuwa, uh, um, Inspector Janali amepewa uwezo na katiba ya nchi na sheria za nchi e, kupanga maofisa ndiyo kuwe na usalama mzuri kwa nchi yetu. E, na vile nimeeleza e, kikosi cha polisi vile tu, kimegawanywa. Ukitoka kwa inspector general tuko na e, wadogo wake ambao ni waiwili e, watatu. Kuna kamanda wa Kenya Police Service, kuna kamanda wa Administration Police Service na kuna kamanda wa eh, 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 DCI. Now, kule chini, tumegawanya kwa eh, region. The former provinces, region nani. Then, tuko na eh, formations. 
na hizi zote all the regions na hizi formations zinaongozwa na assistant inspector general officer ambao ambaye ni wa ranki um, cheo cha assistant inspector general nimetaja kuna formations um, uh, kwa hizo formations moja hizo formations ni ile inachunga rais ambao wako kwa ofisi na wale wa mstaafu kamanda wa hicho kikosi ni, ni assistant inspector general tuje kwa regions kutoka kwa regional commander ambaye ni assistant inspector general tuko na counties zinaongozwa na commissioner wa police chini yake tuko na eh, eh, sub county com, eh, commands zinaongozwa na superintendent wa police hivyo hivyo tukija kwa iki kitengo kinachunga rais em, naibu wake na wale em, em, marais ambao wamestaafu kamanda wake nimesema ni assistant inspector general hizo vitengo zingine ambao wanaongoza wako daraja chini yake kama vile inspector general ni mmoja atuwezi kuwa na inspector mwingine general akuta kuwa na nidhamu kwa kikosi kwa hivyo utapata marais ambao walistaafu kuna officer wa ranki fulani kulingana na policy yetu ukisha toka ofisi kama rais commander wa security yako ni superintendent wa polisi ambaye ana ripoti kwa yule kamanda wa kikosi cha kulinda ama kuhakikisha kuna ulinzi kwa rais na wale walio staff ambaye nimesema ni ranki ya AIG because of command and control hicho ndicho tumefanya na IG anaruhusiwa kwa sababu vile umetaja ukuuliza mambo ya rais peke yake aliye staafu umeuliza kuhusu mawaziri walio staafu makatibu walio staafu kusema ukweli katibu ambaye amestaafu e, e, waziri ambaye amestaafu ahitaji ulinzi sawa na yule yako kwa ofisi na nimeeleza ya kwamba saa huu vile tunaongea waziri wangu wa interior ako Mandela yule waziri alitoka kwa ofisi wa interior ako shambani kwake atoki shambani kwa shamba lake sasa njameni yule waziri yako ofisini ako kule Mandela saa hivi vile tunazungumza ako Moyale ulinzi wake na yule yako kwa ako shambani ameritaya simple logic uwezi kuwa sawa tuko na policy na simi nilitengeneza nilipata kwa ofisi Ina, inasema ukisha toka kwa ofisi utabaki na asikali namba hii uko kwa ofisi utakuwa namba hii Ivo hivyo hata maile, wale ma inspector general wa mstaafu kuna wenzangu wa mstaafu wawezi kuwa na nambari sawa ya ku provide security kwao kama ile niko nayo kwa sababu mimi nikikuwa wakati niko hapa kesho niko tot kesho kutwa niko turukana yule inspector general alistaafu ako shambani kwake ako nyumbani kwake anahitaji security kama yule ambaye yuko ofisini jameni tusema ukweli Tupende nchi yetu. Kila mwananchi wa nchi hii anahitaji ulinzi. Hakuna haja mimi nikistaafu niki niwa na askari 100 kukaa na mimi. Na askari wanahitajika kule wa, wasaidie wa, wananchi. Ndio tuhakikishe kuna utulivu kwa nchi yetu because no country can develop if there is no security for social economic political development of any country we need a secure country okay, and, in, in and, short, and, and that is what we exactly we are doing in short, how many uh, security details we need uh, much more than as we speak now my god you want me to tell you my numbers <laughs> when i come to your house will you tell me i have so many pangas of you can't talk you don't talk about the numbers my friend you never talk about the numbers it's simple they are all safe and secure First the camera. Eh? Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> hey, yes. They are all safe and secure. They are safe and secure. But uh, to, to tell you about the numbers, not from me, maybe somebody else. <laughs> yes.
serikali ilifika hapa sasa tunaona raia wa Kenya hata wazungu wakikamatwa badala ya kusalimika kwa serikali ya Kenya inapeleka Uganda lakini tunazungumza nayo kuna wa Kenya kadhaa wako nchini Uganda pengine ninyi kama serikali ya Kenya tatu salama ni mipango gani mnaweka kwa kisha kwamba hao wa Kenya hawaendelee kusumbuliwa na kukamatwa na kupelezwa kuwekewa adhabu ambayo sio binafsi Asante dugu. Asante e, tuko na uhusiano mzuri sana kati ya Inspector Generali e, wa Kenya na, na nchi zetu jirani. Tunasungumuza kila wakati. So makosa yakitoka ya kidogo tunasungumuza. Hayo mambo tumesungumuza jana. Nitakuhakikishia au wa Kenya wako huru. Jana tulisungumza jana na e, mambo yamefanyika. So tunaendelea kusungumuza tunaendelea kusungumuza e, nitakueleza tuko na kitu tunaita YAPO East Africa Police Chiefs Organization e, 14 countries are members juzi tu nilikuwa disababa tukaketi tunasungumuza na tunaangalia mbali kule Seychelles Comoros Sudan itself Southern Sudan tunasungumuza si ni marafiki Asante sana ndugu Tosha kanayo tunasungumuza tunasungumuza watu wetu tutahakikisha they are enjoying the existence that is what is important enjoy existing enjoy this moment you exist is your country you have no other country enjoy you know being in your country and that is what and my colleagues we are here to do ensure they come so that you can move freely do business and again, as I've said, uh, uh, you are up every moment. Look at, look at the law. Does it talk about the give me timelines? Maybe there are priorities. When I go to this, my, I'm, something my, I'm, I'm on the, my third month. So there are priorities. I thought even in your life, and me, everyday activities, you have a work plan. Today you do this, tomorrow you do this other. So a lot more, there is a lot more to be done. The interest is, I will tell you, there is a lot. Pengine kile kilameta utata ni kuwa, during this time, it's the timing that everybody is in wanaleta haya maswali ya kwa nini sahi amapo kuna mambo mengi ambayo ya nendelea kusiana pengine na raisa ni staff madai ambayo pengine ya kezi ya zungumzia ni timing ambo kila mtu anauliza ye kwa nini sahi hita targeted move ama tu ni the normal procedure yenye inafanya kama inspector general asante dadangu na nimekweleza vizuri tuwache siyasa mimi siyasa sifamu mimi sifamu siyasa nadu Mambe tuwachie wana siyasa siyasa. Mimi ya mapolisman. Neutral. Abeta. Na nimekueleza wakati nigia kuwa ofisi, hiko work plan. Uu mwezi, nitafanya hivi. Uu mwezi mwingine, nitafanya hivi. Februari, kuna yale nitafanya. March, kuna yale nitafanya. Saa sijui kama hili atuwa nitachukua March, utaleta tena kuniambia kwa nini wakati huu nimefanya hivi. Niku na mpangilio. Just the way we have a modernization program. So I, I think, let, let me not spend a lot of time on that. Okay, I what, need, what, need the, the last question. The last one, please. Maybe not the second last. Yes. No, for, for, for second me, last. the uh, what, what's, uh, what are the plans for, for the Kenyan border? Is it just the front, the northern frontier that you are going to, set, to, to open up or, or also the potential, potential uh, part? That, uh, I need to be careful I don't overstep my, my mandate. Let me not overstep my mandate. Yes. Uh, let me. Uh, let's talk about what is happening inside internal security. NPR? Yes. Oh, NPR, yes. Um, what we are doing is um, countrywide. Uh, uh, inch Mzima, inch Mzima, and this was my commitment when I was being vetted by Parliament to get into this office. Nilisema ya kwa jambu ni lazima nifanya. Ni kuangadia policy ya National Police Reserve. 
e, hilo ni jambo linaendelea najua tume train kadhaa tangu niingie kwa ofisi tume train Samburu Marakwet Lamu tunaongeza wengine tutakuwa na training em, na sehemu zingine kadhaa hata Tana River na tumeketi nao magavana wote na viongozi wa hizo hizo counties and we have a very good plan please watch the space uh, 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 you are doing well asante asante tu oh my I may not have seen the clip you're talking about, uh, uh, but um, one thing I'll tell you, <laughs> corruption is, is ugly, is ugly. And you may have seen, you, you've read s some places, we have drew again information-led policing, are some highways. We have taken action and there are some officers we have told you never serve. For the time you've been the police service, we are getting these complaints from members of the public, you never ever be a traffic officer again. You may have heard of that. So, so we are also, there is a lot of disciplinary action being taken against some of our members of the service. Your mambo ya ongo, it is evil. To watch it. To watch it. That is the position. Asante, 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 asante. Thank you, sir.